Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard, Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury finally happening, and very, very big announcement. This and much more on this episode of JDT News. <laughs> First news story this month, uh, Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. I didn't want to talk about this case while it was ongoing on JDT News because I didn't want to get anything wrong. So that ended this month, Johnny Depp won, thank God, Amber Heard's crazy. But apparently, they're going at it again. It's just great. We love it. That was crazy. Amber Heard's just crazy. But yeah, Johnny Depp's getting 15 million now. Talking Ben versus I show speed in real life. Well, it's not really a news story. It's just something funny that I saw. They had a boxing match. They had a little fight in real life. Talking Ben and I show speed. It was something that happened. Liam Payne. Calls out KSI. You know, the Liam Payne from One Direction calls out KSI for a boxing match. Shut up. Liam Payne, if you actually fight KSI, you're going to die. Mr. Beast uploaded a video. He recreated Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. As you do. Regular activity for Mr. Beast. He's recreated it, made a video where he was giving away that thing. It's like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, like proper. If you won the challenge, you won the thing, the whole factory. But he ended up giving it back to Mr. Beast for the equivalent amount of money or something like that. Gordon Ramsay was in the video, which is like... Very epic. And Eason Gibb versus Austin McBroom. Finally, this is, the, this is the fight I wanted because Austin McBroom was in charge of social gloves. Social gloves are the ones that screwed an Eason Gibb. It's all poetic justice, so I'd really, like, want, I'm going to watch the match. I want Gib to win. Come on, Big Gibbo. We don't want the Ace family winning another boxing match because they're gimps, and it's going to be in July. The next news story is also about boxing in July. The TikTok boxing event, it's going to undergone some changes because Astrid Wet, Pulled out of her fight with El Brook. So that's not happening anymore. Because Astrid, Astrid Wett's a pussy. Not the type she sells on her OnlyFans. Uh, and Ed Matthews can't fight Simple Simon. Because of his injury to his ankle. Disappointing. I also don't care because it's a TikTok boxing event. But what can I say? Stuff happens. And Astrid Wett is a coward. But I also wouldn't be wanting to step in a ring with a woman that is built like Brock Lesnar. Randolph! Randolph's child was born. Congratulations to him and the child's mother. We always knew it was going to be in June, but it actually happened. Surprise, surprise. Congratulations, Randolph. And on that same topic, Ethan Bazinga from the Sidemen had a gender reveal party for his baby with Faith, and it was a girl. Congratulations, Ethan and Faith, for finding out that their child is going to be a baby girl. Minnie Minter got engaged two days ago, as of me recording. It'll be, uh, it'll be six days when you're seeing this. I'm happy it's happened. I knew it was going to happen for a very long time. Just didn't know when. Uh, the next news story is one that I really, really want to talk about. And that is Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. On the 19th of June, which is Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared Day, they posted a trailer called Fly. And it announced, finally, 
the Don't Hug Me I'm Scared TV show is coming to Channel 4 in September. I have been waiting for this TV show since Wakey Wakey came out in 2018. I am so excited to watch it. I am so excited. So, so, so excited. Breaking news while I was just finishing up recording. Cabby Lame has overtaken Charlie D'Amelio in TikTok followers. This is great news. Great, great, great news. Finally, TikTok isn't ruled by somebody who is a dance page. Somebody who just goes like that. It can sometimes be funny, sometimes can be boring, but I'm just happy it isn't Charlie D'Amelio anymore. So f congratulations, Cabby. And the final news story. Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury is announced for the 6th of August, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, in, uh, editor JDT. But yeah, Tommy Fury will batter Jake Paul. Jake Paul is going to die. Jake Paul's still really confident because he's an absolute mong. Tyson Fury's put a 10k bet on it. Or 100k, I can't remember. Jake Paul keeps going, oh, you pussy, rise it. No, shut your mouth. But yeah, that fight's finally happening. It was supposed to happen in December, but Tommy Fury got COVID. And remember, Jake Paul was like, oh, he's a coward. And then he fought Tyron Woodley again. I'm so happy to finally see Jake Paul get knocked out. If Jake Paul somehow wins, Tommy fumbles, I think... And they're still sticking to that. If Tommy Fury loses, it's an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment to his career. It's clear to me you don't listen to anything I say. So I come here to get my voice heard. Do you remember? He is a monster. I'm not. I am in control. I always have been in control. I always have been in control. August 5th. You realize that everything I've been saying so far is true. <laughs> Just don't listen to me. Very soon it will come clear to you. I have always been in control. You will realize that there are no strings on me. And now it's time for comment of the month. Boom! Comment of the month this month is this one. Good to know that you are the person you choose to watch with your morning coffee. I appreciate that very much because I know how much, how important morning coffees are. Now it's time for the best comment of 2022. Boom! The comment of 2022 is I microwave my apple tights from. The Goose God in Internet Morons. Uh, this comment was just really funny because it showed he watched the entire video because uh, he included two uh, inside jokes. He included two inside jokes in the comments. So yeah, that's the best comment of 2022. And the, the best comment... Now it's time for the best... Comment of all time! Boom! The best comment of all time goes to this one. Dodd, may I have a shot out? You are my number one YouTube. What a comment. It's infamous on the channel. It's the best comment that's ever been written on YouTube, not just on my channel. So congratulations, Visual Depression. And now it's time to find out my favourite news story. Boom! My favourite news story is... I'm Jay Station, pretending his wife had been killed in a car crash. This news story is my favourite news story I've covered because of how ridiculous is it, ridiculous it is. I'd already done about 26 million videos on J Station, and then he did that. It was just so, so funny to j report on. Because it's stupid. It's just really stupid. And you might be wondering why I've just done all of those things. 
So now it's time for JDT News, JDT News. <laughs> This month on JDT News, JDT News, there's only one new, there's, oh, I actually did a few. I posted a storyline video on Saturday, RIP Petey, that's all I've got to say, go and watch that video. But the main news story this month, I have decided that I'm going to discontinue JDT News. Uh, I've been doing it for 40 months without fail, that's almost a year, three years and 18 months. That's nearly three and a half years without a miss, without without we're doing it every single month without fail. And at first I was thinking, oh, maybe I don't want to end it because of how important it is to the channel. And I still think that. So if you're not seeing this when in post, it's probably because I've decided to keep it running. Editor JDT here. Uh... Keemstar, never ever forget, I'll always have a better news show than you. Um, yeah, I don't really enjoy JDT News as much as I used to, and that's upsetting, because it's just it used to be one of the big, big, big series on my channel, like everybody used to care about it. And I want to start working on bigger things, and to make room for that, I want to move on from JDT News. It's been a blast. I've loved every, I've loved filming JDT News most of the time. Uh, I'm gonna miss it, I really am. JDT News, signing off. Hey everyone, Jacob here from JDT and welcome to the first edition of JDT New. The PewDiePie vs T-Series War. My name's Jay Doddy! Jay Doddy! Jay Doddy, big Jay Doddy. Here commentary channel because it's a negative mood. It makes the mood very bad. This no make any sense. Here are kids, do you want some ass best on? Buy your epic gir gamer girl bathwater here, boy. And stick together, together as one. Rewind. Not JDT rewind. Am I stupid? Yes, I am retarded. They've been saying this for three years. Actually, do it, YouTube, or I'll come round to your house and eat all your nan bread, right? Oi, Jacob, who's Yuri? You're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Copper has been introduced. C O P P A. It's funny. No, it's not. <laughs> no. Is hashtag road to one thousand. <laughs> the phrase "it's just a game" is a weak mindset. <laughs> New story. The co the coronavirus. Uh, it's the new plague, a plague, plague, plague. It's not the plague though, is it, you spesh? It's just not. People are freaking out because all oh, every twenty de every twenty decade has had a plague break up. Yeah, well this isn't the nineteen twenties when we didn't have good doctors, is it? It's just nothing to worry about. I need to apologise, so let me get my YouTuber apology things. <sighs> I have made a severe and continuous. <laughs> Ooh, bright colours and more tabs. You're probably sick of me repeating myself over and over and over and over and over, and over, and over again. It's hurting me talking about it now. Dodd777. Seven, seven, seven. Has it got cold in here? <sighs> I can see a load of snowflakes. It's hot wind. 
You have to ruin my life. What a raging little feminist. Imagine, you're so happy, you've just been adopted, and all of a sudden you just go, I don't want you anymore, you're going back. I only report the news. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's the glow squid. What does it do, glow? We've already got squids, we don't need glowing ones. The only reason it won is because it could dream. Dream, I hate you. I get it, it's like, oh, they're a perfect family. <laughs> My opinion is that I don't care. No green screen. I ain't using no green screen. If I saw that kid in the street, I would punt him into next week. That they're depressed because you can't have the sun in the background of your videos because you live in Scunthorpe. Big dude. Big dude cuff. Hey, sorry, dude. The songs he's singing. Uh, that's weird, that. I don't like it. Get back to defending the statue. Shut up. Anyway. <laughs> How do you apologise for being a nonce? Oh, I won't do it again. You've already done it six times. Uh, you know, it's bad when you go to a Travis Scott concert, you fall asleep and wake up at a Juice World concert. Falsely accused him of being a paedophile. As you do, I do it every Tuesday. I p accuse somebody of being a paedophile. Look at you, you're a paedophile. Creeper! Oh man! For me. Meme of the Month. Boom! It's not time for Meme of the Month because Meme of the Month is now officially cancelled.